go. At least Brent will be happy that his lions decided to mate. What are you doing? He's got his head in a bush at the moment, which can't be very comfortable at all. So there you go. You can see him perched on top of his mound, and his head is inside a tree, and he keeps trying to move it around, and it seems as though the tree is hitting him in the face. You silly boy. You were so comfy where you were. Now, to put his head like he has now, you can see the branch that's right there. It keeps popping his face there, and that tree's got little thorns all over it, so it's not going to be a very pleasant experience rubbing your nose against that tree. I think you should reposition, young man. But you can see, look how big he is. He's looking huge. That neck and shoulder area is starting to get quite big as well. Are you going to come down now? There we go. Let's see, where is he off to? I wonder if he's not going to go and have a little drink. Maybe all this attention has made him thirsty. No, we're going to sit there. Craig, I'm going to go back for you a little bit. So I'm just going to roll back because there's no need for us to actually drive because we're on a nice slope. So Mr. P, all the way from Canada. Hello, Mr. P, you want to know when well, how old is Tumba and when will he be on his own? Well, Tumba turned a year old in July, early July, so he's just about a year and one month now, and he seems as though he's in the process now of being left by his mother. It's time he has started to mate and is starting to find males, and so she'll be slowly but surely starting to push him out. But he still probably is with her. I have seen it with leopards when they do start mating. It takes a bit of time until they are able to actually kick their little their previous offspring off and you'll find that they'll mate once or twice and they'll then come back to their young one and they'll spend a bit of time and then they go back and mate again and only if she starts to actually fall pregnant and she feels like she's get, she's pregnant and she's got young ones inside will she then really kick this young leopard away and he'll have to go off on his own so for now he's probably still dependent on Tandy but she is definitely starting to look and to start moving around and the process of him going on his own is definitely started which is also quite young much like Hosanna and Shungile. Now I believe Scott I think is what Chantal tells me has got a beautiful male lion somewhere on a mound just like little Tumba so let's go across and see.